we uh, had seen the script file in our previous video and in this video we are going to uh, talk about function files as I told you that uh, you know MATLAB codes which are termed as M files have two classifications script file and function file and we said that script files and workspace uh, you know shares the variable whereas for function files it's not the case for function files you have to designate input and designate output all the other variables which are you know uh, you know uh, defined in function files are local to the function it's a function workspace it cannot be you know accessed by command window nor the command window which is which are not designated as an input to function file can be accessed by function files okay so as i as i already mentioned function communicates with the matlab workspace only through variable pass to it and through the output variable it creates so that's what i just now said yeah you have to create the editor window and it again has the same extension dot in. So this is the uh, you know syntax function output variables in square bracket equals to function name and input variable into uh, you know parenthesis and then you 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 may or you may not put uh, you know this semicolon. Now if there is only one variable uh, as far as output is concerned you don't need to write it in a square bracket you can just write this function d equal to function underscore this is the name of the function and this is the input variable however even if there is a single input variable you have to put them in the parenthesis so you cannot write function underscore mpm you have to put them in the uh, you know parenthesis uh, then let us see some of the things which we should know about uh, you know saving function so when you save the function function name and the name with which we store it should be identical that means you know default in fact matlab uh, will give you that option only but you know uh, every individual uh, you know has uh, uh, you know his or her way of writing the names of code but you cannot do it here like if if you want to do that uh, you know you have to write that name here like when I write function underscore mp1, you have to store this file with the name function underscore mp1. You cannot store this file with your own role number, with your role name, your some other code. Uh, you know, when you try to save this file, I'll be I'll be showing you in the MATLAB. When you 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 try to show uh, you know save this file, it will automatically you know MATLAB will default give you this name. You can modify that, but the moment you modify it, MATLAB will not have access to it just like this. So I'll I'll explain that. So function name. That is this and the name with which you save this file should be identical. So this file needs to be this function needs to be stored with the name function underscore mp1. Then you don't do uh, only then MATLAB will access to this particular file under this name. Uh, as I already told you function workspace and local variables so they are different. Uh, you can have multiple input and output and and one important thing is when when you try to you know uh, give some kind of uh, you know naming this variable is an output variable so, so uh, please don't give the name of the file same as the output variable like no suppose you are calculating vapor pressure what happens is your variable also is p set and your function name is also p set so in that case matlab will not be able to differentiate between the function and variable so it will run once but from second time onwards it will be the variable p set will be which will be executed and not the file so it is advisable that your function name should be unique and your variable name should be completely different from your function name so let us see this mp4 file in matlab command window so you can see that there is no workspace variable here and mp1 is right now highlighted i'll go to mp4 and you can see that mp4 has a similar kind of uh, you know syntax which we have used function a b c d are your output variable equals to mp4 m now i, I if i write only mp4 it may ask for m which i have not given here another thing is these variables are internal variable i can i can give any output variable name as long as they are four so if i want to run this file what i need to do is i, I, I need to run this with a command say uh, i'll write a b c d here only a b c d equals m p e 4 and then if i write 10 so this 10 is the value assigned to m and this will go here and uh, when i and i press enter you see what happens here in workspace so what, what has come out in workspace is A, B, C, D. Why A, B, C, D has come out? Because I have designated them as an output variable. Right? But there is no uh, mention of M here. If I write M, it will say unknown variable. Even though M is defined, it's unknown variable. Another thing is, I can run the same file with writing X equals to 10. I, I, I'll just uh, clear it. Put CLC. I'll say X equals to then and then I say P 
QRS equals MPE4 into X. And I press enter. And I get PQRS. I don't get ABCD. So if I write A here, it will say unknown variable. But if I write P, it is 2. So uh, see, this variables are dummy variables. Whatever command window variables I am writing, they will be the actual variable in the command window. So this, uh, you know, uh, it computes A. A value stored here and it is transferred here as P. Q is 4. So B is transferred to Q. R is computed A plus B. And C value is, con you know, con uh, conveyed to R. Likewise. So there is there is there is no need that you uh, give the you know same uh, you can you give the same uh, name of variable. So this is how you can you know run a function file. So I think when you write a function file, you have to uh, write this. However, in the new version of MATLAB, when you write function file, it automatically comes with this syntax. So you don't need to worry about like function output argument one output argument two equal to whatever name you want to say in this. Now let's let's try to do this. Let's write a very simple code, same code, and I'll write A equals to MPE44 I'm writing and input arguments uh, argument is M only. Right? And I'll write uh, here same statements which I've written here in MP4. I'll copy them. I'll copy them here to MP44. I'll uh, replace this. So a equals to two, b equals to four. So let let me put this here as d. Let d only be the output. So this is how I run. And I, I when I save it, just see. When I save it, what happens? It 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 gives me default MP4 for as an option. I can change it, but I should not change it because otherwise, what will happen? I, MATLAB will not be able to access. I'll save it. I'll clear this, I'll put CLC, and then I'll write, uh, let's say, y equal to 4, and then since only one output is there, uh, my calling syntax also will have only one output, and that is, let's say, um, z equals MPE 4, 4 into y. And just see that what are the variables which appears here. Only Z appears because Z is designated as an output. No B, no C. So when I when I call a function file, what I need to learn is that only variables which are designated as output and input are shared with the box better. In fact, you know if you write M here, M is local to this. A is local to this. C is local to this. And in the same way, if I write here Y, you know without passing it on. If I write here any variable which is not passed on to the function file, function file will not be able to access this. So, uh, you know, function has its own workspace. It is separated from, uh, you know, uh, command window workspace. Uh, it requires an, a designated input. Script file doesn't need that uh, designated input. So, I hope you'll be able to, you know, clear the difference between function file and script file. And I think this should help you to write function file in a proper way. Thank you.